you ready, Bob? I'm ready. Oh, it's time to party. I have to do that because all the cameras need to know where to start. All right. That's how that works. Okay, so today we're talking flux, no, not flux core, dual shield wire, correct? Dual shield X series wire. Today we're talking dual shield X series wire, and with me, I have Bob from ESAB, or ESAB Robert, as we're going to call him. <laughs> My new nickname. New nickname. Okay, so what, uh, give me a little rundown. What is dual shield X series all about? Really, Dual Shield X Series was introduced uh, to the market about 10 years ago. And really, if you look back at that time, there was a shortage of welders. So there was a lot of inexperienced welders out there. Productivity was a key focus for many of our customers. And the wires that were in the market were a thick shield wire, which, you know, you've got to kind of dial into the sweet spot to really do it. Out of position, they ran good. But we were looking at how can we be innovative, bring something to the market that can bring inexperienced welders up to speed quicker, make experienced welders much better, much more productive, and have a wire that really, you can say, doesn't have a sweet spot. Dual shield wire, for those that don't know, mm -hmm. what, is different, what's the, what is different between a dual shield wire and a traditional like core shield wire? Okay, a core shield is a wire that is self-shielded, no gas needed, very flexible. You can move around and do your welding with it. All right, so then what's dual shield? Dual shield, it is a gas-shielded wire. So uh, pretty much, you know, you're, you're running a, a MIG process. You're using either a 7525 gas or a CO2 gas, and um, you're more confined. You're working within a plant, a lab, um, you know, that kind of work environment. Really with solid wire, most people, that's where they're trained on. That's where they cut their teeth. That's where they learn how to weld. But you look at some solid wires, there could be issues where you need more cleanup, you need uh, weld prep on your joint. Whereas with a flux core wired, our dual shield X, you have lower spatter. The welder has a wide operating range, which he can work in. So if he wants to run it cold and slow, or he wants to run it fast and hot, he can do it. And then the real key to the Dual Shield X is how well it runs out of position. Flux core versus uh, solid wire. You know, there's the, the push versus pull. Mm -hmm. What's the, is it different with Dual Shield or the same? Well, with any flux core wire, if you have slag, you drag. And I guess the biggest thing when I walk in and there's inexperienced welders, they pretty much cut their teeth on running with solid wire. So they're pushing the wire. When they go, and they switch over an account from a solid wire to a flux core wire, especially Dual Shield X, that's their routine, that's how they learned. So they all feel that they wanna push it. I will not say you can't push flux core, you gotta be real careful with the angle of your torch, et cetera, but anytime you've got a flux core type wire, you drag and you're dragging because of slag. You'd never wanna get ahead of that puddle and then you can get into slag inclusions, you can get into incontinuities, and then you can get into defects. Because you don't so, want all that slag and that puddle. You slag. got it. So that's, that's the whole idea of dragging versus pushing. Where is uh, Dual Shield X Series Wired made? It is made in the state of Pennsylvania in Hanover. Right across the street. Right across the street. And that's important because made in America. It's very important because it's made in America and it meets the Buy America needs for a lot of our customers, whether it be DOT, structural, and also uh, the U.S. military. So that's a, that's a very important thing that our raw materials are sourced domestically uh, and the wire is made domestically. So we can actually say not only made in America, but it meets the Buy America Act. They also make potato chips here, too. Oh, well, you got Utch, you got Snyder's, yeah, you got them all. Potato chips. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the snack capital of the country. Snacks? Well, pretzel primarily. Pretzels, chips, and welding wire. Exactly. What else do you need? Uh, that's it. Life's good. You got it.